Um, okay, I have recorded. That was then. I'm going to say it's about 6 p.m. in the evening in game. Uh, I'm having that down. By the way, I fixed the audio issue, so you should be in the clear. Yay. Okay. Yay. So it's definitely recording? Yes, I can see my own voice and yours as well. So Yay. Yay. Good this time. Uh <sighs> we currently have um Dylan um a wall somewhere in the temple. We have um Talia and Diona kind of sat perched on the edge of the camp. Um having had a quiet heart to heart um, and angst in each other's directions. We have um, Susanna um, currently aggressively stress petting um, the group cat. We have Bias kind of currently sat there behaving himself um, and um, Lena and Vera looking after the um, dwarf that you rescued from within the It is, like I say, currently about 6 p.m. Um, various people, I think, are in need of, mentally, if not in terms of character sheets, in need of a rest. Which reminds me, I need, need a sheet. I'm just getting my um, computer finished booting up, and that includes booting up my internet, so... Yes, I apologise if I suddenly vanish as well, by the way, my, our internet has been flaky off and on all day. Um, to which I can sympathise because Fridays are awful. They are. Yeah. Um, okie doke. 6pm. Um, who is doing what? Um, since I'm kind of GMing and Sarah isn't back yet, I will say we'll leave um, what Lena and Vera are up to alone for a little minute too. Is it exactly 6 p.m.? Um, because you asked so nicely, it now is precisely 6 p.m., yes. Thank you, dear. All right, Susanna's not actually doing anything. She's just looking at her clock. I just wanted to ask and see what time it was. It is 6 p.m. Um, I would say that the other people in the camp are kind of giving the group a reasonably wide berth. Um, they'll be kind of wandering past, and um, Diana and Tyler, you'll both be able to kind of see there's people moving past, kind of going about their, their evening as they're kind of packing down. There's, you know, some sort of effort to make meals. You can see people kind of shooting you and the rest of the people around the tent kind of sidelong glances, but nobody seems quite brave enough to come up and um, say anything or interact with the group. Um, you get the impression it's probably because they don't know you rather than because they're scared of the group. Well, I mean, by they should, should be scared of us. About five, ten minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was kind of actually missed by most of the people. Um, I did actually, I, I, seriously, seriously, I rolled for that shit. They, they have no perception whatsoever. Um, that was kind of largely missed um, because of where you were in the camp, because of where other people were. Oh <laughs> I rolled for that out of game. I was just like, seriously, it's a fucking bear, people. <laughs> it's a fucking bear and a scouting match. I think I rolled, I rolled like five dice and, and three of them came off as natural ones. <laughs> oh my, oh my God. God. That's Moonweaver did not want anybody to see Vias's tantrum. Yeah, she was like, no, 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 let my boy be angry. Um, I would say that um, along with that kind of giving the group a wide berth, it also means that nobody's kind of going to offer to make food for the group or anything like that. You are kind of not part of their kind of little um clique for one for a better word you know they've they've been out here for for weeks they've all kind of bonded and you're the newcomers yes precisely you're you're outsiders to this group and they don't kind of trust you or anything yet to kind of welcome you into the group so you're either responsible for making your own food for the evening or you're going to have to kind of ask them. But there is a, a campfire you do have kind of basic rations with the group um and i would assume that diana kind of has 
slightly yeah, more than basic nice, cooking a fair spice. Stuff. It's just that she'll need to actually she'll need a little bit to calm down before she can actually trust herself to cook. Okay. Um, in that case, then we'll kind of say that you know a little bit of time passes, um, and what most of you would not see from where you are standing is that um, the dwarf that was rescued from a temple um, and I'm saying this for kind of the recording as much as anything um, because Lena and Freyra will be the only ones there at this point the dwarf that you've rescued from the temple um, briefly wakes up um, and then is kind of um, she isn't violent the same way that the others were um, and she doesn't kind of move to attack um, but she just seemed kind of confused um, and Lena and Vera between them are kind of you know performing basic first aid and making sure that she's comfortable and she kind of goes back to sleep Do uh, Lena and Vera do does like Talia and Diana notice? Um, from where you are sitting for that brief moment I would say probably not Okay. Um, Vera I think would pause Possibly call people out. Um, Lena wouldn't at this point because she's still kind of pissed. Yep. <laughs> oh. Lena is sulking, basically. Yeah, um, my... She will put a much nicer word in it, but Lena is sulking. Um, brooding, I suppose, is probably a better word. Um, oh. Vera, I would say, would probably call the pair of you over at this point. Um, not really wanting to call Vias over after um, he tried to run back in and having seen the state that Sarah was in. Uh, Sarah was in? <laughs> Susanna was in. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be one of those evenings where I mungle, where I bundle everybody's names together. <clears throat> yeah, he, wa he wanted to stay with Susanna, like, mostly because, one, she's the only person that really wouldn't ask him questions, and two, because he wanted to keep an eye on her, and yeah. He has things to sort out. Jasper, come on. I don't need you in front of my computer. <laughs> okay, well, we are missing Sarah, then. Sounds like... Um, in which case... Don't do anything stupid, eat your vegetables. Okay, Mom. <laughs> Love you, be safe. I don't think Talia has moved much, to be honest. They, <laughs> um, they, keep, they sort of keep their eyes sort of focused on the temple. Like, okay. since it's kind of pricked to see and notice anyone coming near them but not really okay. moving much not really talking Fran, um, okay. please do not lie to Sarah <laughs> I'm not lying Ren, we're not capable of being good that will try to be good uh-huh. Okay, okay. In that case, then, I will say that since I'm apparently um, Jaegering. Uh, um, I think Vera Diana the would. Um, one Vera called Myra would kind of get up and just let Talia know that I'll go check that out and then I'll do food. Um, I would say that Vera would probably kind of come over rather than kind of shouting. It's a fair distance. Yep away and to avoid kind of alerting everybody else so it's, it's a kind of a quiet kind of tap on the shoulder and a, a nod of the head to kind of draw you away from um, Talia for a moment um, and as you kind of get back you notice that as you kind of move back assuming you're moving over to where the dwarf is yeah. okay you notice that um, the dwarf looks kind of a healthier colour than they did before um, their hands are kind of bound in front of them still um, and as you kind of come closer, Lena looks up and kind of smiles ever so slightly at you um, and says, um, she woke up um, 
Uh, Vera says she's asleep rather than unconscious. But she's violent. So she's back to... She didn't say anything or, or do anything. She just kind of blinked a few times and then went back to sleep. Um, but she was unconscious before and Alveira says she's just so it's something I suppose so that's a sign of good things it's not a bad sign it's it's more of a sign than we had before it's not a bad sign um that's all I would want to say. Um, I think we just make her comfy and see what happens. That's probably our only option because we need to know if when we get Dylan out of there, if we'll be able to get him back. Yeah, yeah, I. Yeah, I know. Um, I tied her up. I didn't want to risk her doing... I didn't want to risk what happened before with everybody here in the camp. I mean, it doesn't seem right, but... Um, better to protect everyone in the camp, right? I'm um, <clears throat> I'm going to go tell Mira, um, see if she recognizes her, and then um, at least we know then roughly how long she might have been in. Um, it should give us a clue, yeah. I suppose, as to everything else that's going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. are you Sorry. Okay. Um. No, <laughs> no, I'm really not. But um, there's not really time for that right now. So um. I will be for for now. I'll be good. <laughs> I'll be fine. Um, I'll be okay. Um, just um, would you do something for me, Diana? Would you um keep an eye on Vias? He's um. I know some of what he's thinking right now and I don't want him to do something stupid and if I try to stop him doing something stupid I think it might just end up worse so um yeah there's that um please uh yeah I was planning on it anyway okay. I don't particularly want anyone trying to go back there without strength in numbers and all that yeah I get it I agree um I agree. Um, I'm going to go um, talk to Mira. Mm. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. And she kind of stands up should and I, brushes. Hmm? Should I make food for her just in case or no? Uh, with a gesture to the wall. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, at this point, um, I think Vera would probably speak up and be just like, um, if she wakes up, she'll probably just eat broth or uh, soup or something simple. So if there's something simple, she might have something that can be reheated, I think. I can get up. Um, and as you're kind of talking to Vera, Lena's going to take that opportunity to kind of She's yeah. not even trying to sneak away. She's just walking over to the to the main tent. Um, I think Dan is also going to poke her head in to check on Vice and Susanna. Dick, dick. Yeah, I think Vice is just planted on the floor where you saw him last, and. I don't think he's really doing much of anything. He probably stopped talking to Susanna a while ago after he realized she wasn't talking. <laughs> and he's just been sat there with his 
his staff in his lap and his hood over his face, basically. His big man. Mercy's probably wrapped around his neck at this point or hiding inside the hoodie with him. And she probably looks up as you, in, you enter. Is Susanna still? Uh, Susanna's probably, actually probably Susanna's taken her fan out now and is sort of fanning herself. Um, it, holding the fan in her right hand and her hands are still shaking, but with the fan, it just looks like she's fanning herself, so. She looks comfortable. I mean, she doesn't look like she's in any particular distress. She's just not doing much. Eye on the clock and the other eye on Diona when she comes in. Just, we're just checking in. I'm going to be making food soon. If you guys are hungry. I love something, Diona. That would be very kind of you. And Donna looks like she's about to say something else, and then she just kind of shakes her head, gives you guys both an odd, and just walks back out. Successful interaction, a check. <laughs> <laughs> as much as two fairly silent people can be. We're doing great. We're, we're doing a great job. I, I mean, since... Everyone in the, it, since all three of that group are just way too emotional. We don't want to fucking talk to each other. That's bullshit. Yeah, I think Vi just <laughs> why talk with Susanna is at least up because that freaked him out that she went down. Like, he, he literally didn't see what happened at all. So he's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why talk and get things out in the open, emo in the open when you can stew over things emotionally for the next six weeks? <laughs> six weeks, that, that's cute. That's yeah, I know. <laughs> to be honest, six, six weeks in real time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Okie doke. Um, at this point, I would say, don't know, presumably you're kind of settling outside the tent, getting... Uh, yeah, prepared. settling near the campfire, starting to... Um, put the stuff together to make. It's not going to be particularly interesting because she'd normally ask for Vias to send Mercy to go get some wild game, but uh, that that's probably not. Yeah, I'd say it's kind of, you know, whatever you've got to hand and yeah. kind of preserved rations and uh, dried meats and uh, dried foods and things like that. Um, I'm not going to make you roll for it because it's kind of yeah. unless you particularly I want know, to roll for something. I know roughly what she's got in her store, what she tries to have in her stores at any one time, and she's probably doing um, basically a, a, some kind of a stew, basically using some of the dried meats she has and some of the hardier veg she's got and just kind yeah. of something she can just put in a pot next yeah. to the fire and just leave it there for a while. It's something that, that she could probably do with kind of her eyes closed and having three conversations. Oh yeah, it's, it's staple food. It's, yeah. it's so, we need to eat but I don't have the resources to do something. Okay, so I would say as you're kind of sat there prepping things, um, you see kind of after a few minutes, Lena come walking back with Mira in tow. Um, and they head kind of right the side of the tent to where um, Vera still is with the other dwarf. Um, and they're there for a few minutes, and you can kind of hear a hushed conversation. Um, and you can make a perception check if you wish to listen in. Um, if you don't want to, that's yeah, I think I will. Um, Go for it then. Uh, yeah, perception check. Come on. Uh, 
Get the little sands. Otherwise, I'll roll manually. Come on, why are you doing this? And this week on the Geese, Roll Twenty continues to be a bitch. <laughs> Isn't Roll Twenty always a bitch? Correct. Yes. Our first contestant, Joe, has got it absolutely correct. Roll Twenty is always a bitch. I would like to point out that Roll Twenty isn't a bitch for my beginners group that I run every other Sunday. It likes Roll them. Twenty is a selective bitch and is more <laughs> friendly to beginners. Having said that, I have not yet. Ro I I went through a full session the other day with the other group and didn't roll in double digits on any dice. Oh god, dice so oh, bitches. Boy. It better not do that when I throw a baby dragon at them next time. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> There's a baby dragon. I, they are not that some days. It, to be fair, I'm running a heavily edited version of uh, mine of is it mine of Fendelver or whatever uh, it is? Lost, lost yeah, nine. Lost I'm running of... basically a heavy, heavily edited version of that because it was easier than coming up with completely new stuff. Um, and there is one bit where they there is a juvenile green dragon that they can basically yeah. try and persuade to go away, or they can attack, and when it gets like you know, sixty percent health, it flies away. Um, they're at level four. <laughs> So well, I'm not too bad because I want we to... actually they've um... been they've been really snappy with the tactics so far to the extent that you know there's been at least two encounters that I've had to completely throw out because they've bypassed them for one reason or another oh, and it's just been so <laughs> hilarious it's just been so hilariously good that I'm they're just like oh no we're really sorry I'm like no 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 it's great seriously you don't you're all being brilliant it's been hilarious um. But I would like them to kind of find something that's a bit bigger than them and maul them a little bit. <laughs> uh, to stop uh, them from getting I over to inform you that your intent to maul them will probably end in them being completely untouched while they steamroll whatever was supposed to maul oh, them. Oh, yeah. Seriously, they, they rolled to a fight against a wizard with one of them taking, literally going down to such the, the, there's an arcane trickster, one of them, a rogue. And she went down to three hit points and then cast sleep and basically bypassed the entire rest of the account encounter. And I was like, I'm so proud. Sleep is great fun for that. Also, that's a mod 20 on the perception roll. Okie coke. Um, God, my dad's the fucking... He's on a snow most of... going around the house. <laughs> um, oh you kind of don't necessarily hear Mira's side of the question, but you can hear Lena's voice. She's talking a little bit louder um and the bits that you get are kind of i'm not having a conversation with myself um it's too late on a friday night for that not um, that's fair <laughs> basically it boils down to um lena is pretty much as she said to you she's um asked mira to come over and see if she recognized the dwarf um and you get the 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 overall impression from mira is that Either she doesn't know the dwarf, or she's saying that she doesn't know the dwarf. I'm just going to roll an insight check for Lena anyway. Um, and the conversation seems to be along the lines of, you, you know, she she might vaguely recognize the dwarf, but it isn't somebody that they've employed. And um, she's asking Lena to kind of keep her in the loop about what happens. Um, and you kind of see, after two or three minutes, Mira kind of walking back towards the tent. Um, and a little more slowly, Lena walks around and um, sits down beside the uh, fire and just kind of smiles and nods um, and just kind of sits there and stares at the fire. Um, and you notice, um, still going off that perception, that she kind of edges. She sits down, stares into the fire for a moment or two, and then edges slightly backwards away from the fire. Wait, sorry, repeat that? So Lena she, comes around. Um, okay, she drops wait. down next to the fire uh, where Diona is and then sits there for a second or two, stares into the fire and then kind of edges backwards by maybe a foot or so away from the fire. Okay. Um, and she glances over to Diona and, uh, uh, well, Mira, um, she says she doesn't know her and I, I kind of believed her. She might have seen her around, but didn't really kind of... It's not somebody that they've employed, so... Um, she could have been in there... 
um, give or take. So, I mean, we'll see how she goes. Hopefully she comes out of it in uh, more or less one piece. Yeah. And Lena sat at this point, and she's kind of um, got her arms wrapped around her knees, and her tail kind of curled around her ankles, kind of just properly bundled up, sat staring into the flame. You can tell me to fuck off, but <laughs> what made you snap at Vias? Like, he wasn't the decision he was making was. Not one I agree with. That's why I. But it seemed. It was. Oh god, this is probably going to come out all wrong. Um, I knew how he was making it. Um, his friends in there, aren't there? I mean, Dylan's in there, and the natural thing is to want to go back, but um. Sometimes you can't do that. Sometimes going back makes things worse. I mean, he's the only one of us that can reliably see those things. He goes in there. What are we going to do? How do we go back? And then we're going to have to rescue both of them. Um, I might have come a little... Um, I am... Um, but I was so cruel to him. Um, Let's just say I've 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 seen people go bite like that before, and it's never ended well. Um, and I want to like Vias. He seems like a nice, a nice kid. Um, and it's bad enough that we've got one person lost in there. I don't think it'd be we bad. It'd be even worse them. having. Sorry. We couldn't stand losing another. Yeah, two would be two would be worse. Um. I called him selfish, which um, <laughs> yeah, I still think he was um wrong to get rushing back in, but I don't know why he wanted to. Yeah, it's um hard to put the great the good first. Yeah. Um Well. Wow. Do you think it's something you guys can resolve before we go back in there? Because we don't need to be at each other's throats. Oh, I can back in there. I don't know that we've got time to resolve all our issues we can go back in. Um I think it's going to take a little bit longer than a couple of conversations to do that, but um, it's not going to interfere. I'm... It was called compartmentalization when I was training. <laughs> you put it all away and you just get on with what you need to do. And I can do that. And you hope it doesn't eat you up from inside. Yeah, they never really got to that bit when. I was training. I don't know. I figure that if you think it's eating me up inside, just smack me around the back of the head or something. <laughs> You're the only one tall enough to do so in the groups. So <laughs> that kind of um, does give a little bit of a smile at that. And I have no room to judge about. what you're holding back eating you from inside that's it's not and i do try to not be a hypocrite there's some things that are hard to talk about mm. no matter how well you know the people around you and we don't know each other particularly well do we we don't I mean, for what it's worth, I'd like to. I'd like to. 
maybe once we get Dylan out. I think we all need um, a good meal <laughs> and a comfortable bed and um, 24 hours with nothing attacking us. Um, so, um, what's for dinner, if you don't mind me asking? No, trail stew, it's just using the keepable stuff I've got. I was going to ask, but yeah. bias and mercy I don't think are particularly keen on. Probably not the best time. Yeah. It smells really good. Um, I never learned to cook. Um, <laughs> weird, really. Um, considering they always tried. Yeah, I never learned to cook. Um, My uncle, he taught me as a way to mostly give me something to do with my energy. I was always set to chopping wood. <laughs> Help me swing an axe, I suppose. <laughs> but your uncle sounds nice. If we ever head up towards Wastran, I'd like you guys to meet him. I'd like that. Either, that sounds... I, I think he'd either like you guys or he'd be infuriated. I'm not sure which, but either way, it'll probably be amusing. <laughs> I mean, um, with this group, possibly both. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, is there space on there for a tea kettle? Cause I really could need a cup of tea. There's plenty. Um, I have a pouch of tea, but um, it's something because no tea, tea tea kettle. Um, I meant to grab one before we left. Um, I never quite did. Diana kind of just shakes her head a little bit and um, reaches into the fairly large chest that you've seen her carrying. It's not a kettle, but it'll do. And just does pull out a small battered pot that, see, it's not quite the size of a tea kettle, but it'll work for what we need. Oh, that's perfect. Um, I'll go get some water. And she kind of staggers over to the edge of the tent and a pack and pulls out a, a water skin and a, a small pouch, um, sealed leather pouch. And she heads back over and she drops down to sit next to you, um, closer to you and slightly closer to the fire. Um, and she kind of offers you the water skin and, and the little pouch. Um, you know, I'm not even sure what tea this is, um, but it tastes nice. And it's not one of the types I drink in the morning, so it shouldn't wake us up too much because I really think I need to sleep. I think the sleep would do us all some good. I think considering not the situation, it probably couldn't do any worse. I um, feel free to tell me to hook off at this point, but um, do you think we did the right thing? I mean, I saw um, I saw Talia leading the group out, realized that he wasn't there, and I agreed with their decision to leave him behind. It. It's hard, but it makes sense for the, for the, for the group. But, um, God, I'm sorry. That is so out of line. Ignore me. Um, ignore me. That's just not. Diana kind of um, raises an eyebrow and just shakes her head with, and just gives Lena an awkward little smile. And, you know, I get it. it honestly... 
Sally made the right call. We don't know how the time limit works, and we don't know if and we don't know how far Dylan was able to get. We were already down one person and going back in not at our strength and needing to go who knows how far. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was thinking. Sorry, I just wanted to... Um. I needed reassurance, I suppose, that somebody else would. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And... But it's what it is, and we couldn't put yeah, everyone else yeah. at risk for something that wouldn't even work. Yeah. Yeah. So we... um. We sleep, we recover, we gear up and we go back in and we find her. And we don't go in blind this time. Yeah. I figure we, um, we map it as we go, we mark off the areas he isn't, if that place is, <sighs> if it's affecting him the same way it is. And I he think... shouldn't. He should stop wherever, wherever it is that it affects him the most. I think we might also want need to trust Vias to guide us because he was the one who could. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I thought. I mean, he's the only one that. Can... I just, um, I might need you to trust him in my place for now. You two are going to need to have a talk eventually. Yeah. But not yeah, right I, now. No. Right now, it's too... Dylan is more important than that conversation right now. I know. I hate having yeah, conversations like that. that. <laughs> conversations that I just... Oh, emotions are such a pain in the arse. Um, anyway, tea. Tea would be... Um, How long does it need to be on the file? Uh, a few minutes. Um, yeah, depends how strong you like it, I suppose. Um, two or three minutes is normally enough. Um, take it off and leave the leaves in, and it gets a little stronger as you go down the pot. Um, I'll take some over to Talia in a minute. And then we... Um, they will sleep, but they're going to be doing a vigil tonight. They don't... They I know. To see if anyone comes out or if someone's going to try and go back in. I'd kind of guessed as much. Um, but um, if you're going to stay up and sleep. I've sat vigil before. It's um, it's always easy with some food and drink on hand. I'll, um, do you have a spare mug? I'll take. I'll take them some tea. I've only got the one, but I'll just grab it later. And we really need to do some shopping for essentials. I have, yes. One mug, one plate, <laughs> um, one set of, of eating irons. Um, we possibly ought to go and um, stock up on a few things next time we're in town. There's a quartermaster at the bottom of the camp we can stock up in the morning. Um. 
Susanna was telling me out of character that the beer mom has mugs. <laughs> no, that's just what Susanna's chanting to herself in the tent now. <laughs> <laughs> we need a proper tea set, folks. Oh, God, um, oh we don't. Oh you know how fragile those things are? Oh, Susanna oh. would love a proper tea set. <laughs> Lena would love a proper tea set because you can't make proper tea outside of Bone China. Let's have a proper tea party. Let's do it. <laughs> um, so Lena kind of um, uses her own mug um, for the moment and kind of dumps some tea into it. Not I think Diana. Diana was willing to give her mug for Kalia to use. Um. Lena will kind of probably not take that as a social cue because it's a bit <laughs> subtle. Um, oh. And she kind of makes her way None over to None of us know how social. It's fine. Um, and she makes her way over to Talia with this mug of, of green tea and crashes down next to Talia. And, um, I, um, I don't want to interrupt Talia, but um, I brought you some tea. Uh, Talia kind of looks at her, uh, nods, and just goes, thanks, thanks, and takes it, and starts to sort of sip on it. Let's see if they like it. <laughs> it's kind of um, citrusy and herby, and... Um, I'll, gi- I'll give it a plus then. Cause it's too smooth and relaxing. Um, okay, I'll give it a plus too, because it's not too like sweet, overly sweet. 19! Hey. You, you see them kind of like... There's not a lot of shit they've left so far, so much <laughs> in terms of food. It's all they've, all... they've mostly kind of rolled middle to low. And so they take it, and there's a moment where they look a little pleasantly surprised, actually. Um, Lita just kind of smiles slightly, and... Um, I'll, um... Diana's making some, some food. I'll, um... I'll bring some over in a little while. You just um, shout if you need anything. Um, All right. You do your thing. Um, Don't get too cold. Do you need a... I can grab a blanket on the packs if you need one. Uh, No, I'm I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, well, you... um, Thank you, Talia. Four. Um, looking out for us all. Just thank you. Of course, you're uh, you're my people. Yeah, well, I'm. They... Sorry, go on. No, they they say that, and they look a little bit like they smile, but it's not like you know they're not. It's not a beaming smile you see. You you yep. see, but oh, I'm. I for one, I'm glad you're here. Thank you, and I'll um, I'll bring you some food over in a little. They they nod. Shout if you need anything. Like I said, mm-hmm. and Lee's just kind of going to wander away and leave to it. Leave them to it. They're just going, they're, they're sipping this tea, kind of like savoring it a little bit, but watching the temple. Okay. Make me a perception check, please. Oh, boy. There's nothing that bad. Listen, <laughs> DMs that tell me to, to roll perception checks don't make me happy. <laughs> 11. Okay. Um, no, tell you. As the sun kind of um, is coming down and starts hitting the the kind of open area in front of you at an angle, you get a glint. I need to change the last thing. Of light in um, this area here. In where? Oh, I did not see shit. Hang on. I'm on the wrong layer, that's why. In this area here. Ah, okay. Which identifies to you the closest of the weird blue arcane blobs that are floating through the area. 
Awesome. Um, it is the oh. only one you pick up. How in the far area. away is that? That's like 50 feet. Could I throw a hag bone over there? Um, you know what? Go for it. Um, make a. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, my computer is now being slow. It is. Make me an. I don't know. You're going for distance, so I would say an athletics check. That's fine. F- fuck. Ooh. Um. It kind of. <gasps> It goes in that general direction, um, and it it you, you're pretty sure it's a great throw. It's a great throw. It bounces about twenty feet in front of you, if that. <laughs> um, but you know what? It's in that general direction. Talia will just kind of sigh and just, all right, and go back to watching the temple. Okay. Uh, what is everyone else up to? Minus one hag bone. How many do you have? I have three. Yay. Okay. I used to um, say. I mean, to be fair, you could probably pick that one up on the way past tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, boy. I wonder if I should cut in now. Hmm. Go for it if you wish to. I mean, at this point, Lena is just kind of dropping to sit back beside um, Diona at the fire and is kind of sipping her own kind of I would say that Lena would probably kind of divert via the um, quartermaster of the south of the camp and purloin several mugs to make sure that they have more than enough kind of mugs Well, I, I don't think Thias necessarily would leave the tent just yet I think he would finally, like, break out of that silent stupor that he'd gotten himself into. Because he had basically, before, not whatever, like, in the meantime, had been rambling and then quit. Um, I think he would just say, um, Susanna. Vice? been doing things wrong. What? Um, and I, I think it's kind of hard for him to speak. That, the griffin, that cannibal, the, the dream that we had, now this and everything else. I I feel like I've done something and I try very hard not to. I'm sorry. Um Um uh, I mean it's all worked out, hasn't it? Up and well, up until this point, certainly. Like the Griffins ended up okay. The cannibal ended up dead. The dream went quite well, considering what it was. But, I don't. I, but the Griffins fit because I I failed. I failed to make them back off. You guys trusted me to talk to them, and it didn't happen. And the cannibal. They got the jump on me, and I nearly bit the dust. And I terrified people, possibly. I. And I'm. A catalyst for. But. Talia's. And now Dylan. But. I just feel like. If I try a little harder, maybe something good would happen, but I am failing to keep people I care about right now safe, and I'm afraid 
I don't, I know who I am, but I don't know who I am. And I don't know if the trust I hold in people is the same anymore. But, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Buffy. I ain't great with um articulating myself. I'm sure you've already noticed that much. Um, how long have you been here? as long as Talia has. I was okay. on the Sky and ship for a week. I traveled about two days from Haven to Ankaral. I've been away from home for nine, eleven, twenty days. Have you ever been away from home before? Like this, I mean, not like just stepping outside and being away from home. I've been to Ankaral, but that is a two-day journey, not a week. Yeah. I... World's scary. Oh, I am aware that it is scary. Heaven yeah. is not the safest place, I promise. I... Well. Yeah. I mean... Anything can be scary and dangerous at home, but it's still home. The world is scary. But I'm not just afraid for myself. I, I'm upset that I'm not powerful enough to stop things sometimes. Vast. We're a group of people, a group of new companions, associates who what we can do, what each other can do. And we decided to walk into the middle of this ancient temple because we thought we could handle it. That's just a group stupidity. I suppose That's so. not on you, okay? And he kind of like gives a weak smile at that. I, I, there's some rather indelicate language that I believe would um, suitably describe the situation, but I shall not use it. It's not ideal, and I understand that it's not ideal, but we, um, I, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna, we're gonna problem solve this, and we're gonna fix things. And it's, we just need to go inside and keep track of the time. And that's all we need to do. Bias just gives a small, like, slow nod. We need a plan, and I think we need to talk about it for real soon. I'm not... He kind of just rubs at his face for a moment. I am not going to leave that place until Dylan is found. I, I respect that. I didn't promise it, but I did tell his father that we would keep an eye on him. <laughs> Okay. I don't hold that lightly. And I'm... I am... I was... angry. And I'm still a little angry that I wasn't able to go back for him. That I didn't have another minute. You were important, and that dwarf woman, I suppose, is important, too. 
we're, we're tired and we're hungry. How about we see how Dawn is getting on with the food, Vice? I promise you, everyone feels better after they've eaten something. How about you eat something? I can try. We can... How about, how about I, you don't even have to leave. I will go out, I will find, I will get whatever Diana has made and I will bring it back in here. And you don't have to go out and you don't have to talk to anyone. If, if that's what you want. I, I can, I can go if, if it is fine. I can't sit in here forever, and I have to make amends, too. I said things that I did not mean, and because I was angry. And it's shameful, and I hate that. Everyone gets angry, Vice. <laughs> but I don't. Not usually. Everyone gets angry, and people have done a lot worse than you've done when they're angry. It's okay. But I should be better. Huh. And I think he'd probably, at that, stand up, dust his, like, boots off a little bit, because they're definitely dusty. And probably, like, um, like, gesture to the lab tent. Maybe I can grab you something. You, you're you still shaking. I'm going to be shaking for a little while, Vice. How about you just help me up? And she holds out a hand. He'll take her hand. Okay. She'll stand up and then head outside to the outside world, which is a party time, a grand time. I'm sure everyone's doing great. No? <laughs> okay. Pouting around a fireplace. Well, the people around the fire at the moment will be um, Lena and Diona. Um, and Lena will kind of look up as both of you approach and kind of smile ever so slightly and nod to both of you. Lena? Or who? Sorry, I missed that part. There's Lena and Diona. Okay. Um, and Lena will kind of just smile quietly in greeting and nod to both of you but not actually say anything. Vias just like, gives like a silent nod. And Susanna probably... will kind of glide over almost and say, good evening ladies, how are you both doing? In the scheme of things. Oh, well, in, in, in the scheme of things, um, could be better, could be worse. Well, that sounds perfectly mediocre. What a grand old time. <laughs> Something like that, yes. Um, been one of those days, I suppose. Um, how are you feeling, Susanna? I'm feeling just wonderful. In fact, I would... Um, I'm, I, 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 would, I want to apologize for creating such a fuss and... Um, well, for creating such a fuss. You, you don't need to apologize, Susanna. It's, um, you don't need to apologize. I should be, um, would you like some tea? I would love some tea, thank you. I mean, I, yeah. And she kind of grabs the, the mug that kind of, she's does use a stack next to the um, fire of several mugs piled on top of several plates, all of which kind of, um, fine grained kind of rough hewn um wood that looks like it's been kind of waxed to give it some sort of kind of notion of waterproofing and she kind of pours some tea um from the pot well the pan and kind of hands it out to you and, um susanna takes it in both hands and her hands are shaking but she can hold the cup steady enough um lena's just gonna kind of shoot you a look Shoot Susanna a look at that, but otherwise not comment on it. Good choice. Um, um, Bias, would you like some tea? I think he kind of like start at that, kind of like 
surprised that he gets spoken to for a moment. Um, sure. And he'll accept a cup of tea. Yep. Um, we ought to top it up. Um, I'll see if Feyre wants some as well. And Lena's just kind of get busy herself with me, topping up the pot, a few fresh leaves, some extra water to boil. Um, because, you know, when, when a loss fails, dissemble by making tea. I, I yep, think... it's. Yeah. Oh, Dana kind of looks at Vice and Susanna and just you two doing. Better? I think his hands go a little tight on the cup and he just kind of slowly... I, I don't think... He probably like goes to nod and then just shrugs. <laughs> he aborts that motion. Quite well, and yourself? Certainly been better. <laughs> That seems perfectly reasonable to me. Oh, um, Diana, I hate to ask, considering as you're busy, but I don't suppose you would have happened to, um... happen to know where my glove is, do you? Uh, yeah, sorry, I meant to give back to you earlier. I just was kind of... Oh, no trouble, no trouble at all. I just, if you, if you, I'm glad that you happened to, um, uh, pick it up. I, I would have been quite a shame if it were a... I'm glad you happened to pick it up. And she does kind of, um, rummage in one of the pouches on her belt and just pulls out the glove. It was rolled up so it would fit and just she kind of offers it. She, oh, her body language is almost sheepish when she offers it. Susanna puts the mug of tea down so that she can take the glove and put it back on her hand. And then picks up and says, uh, thank you so much. It was, I do appreciate you holding on to that for me and um, all that. I would probably say at this point as well that Lena hasn't noticed that Susanna's not wearing gloves until the conversation comes up because she's busy kind of making eye contact with everyone's left shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Lena's so valid. Um, so she might... Hang on, I will make a perception check. Yeah, no, Lena still hasn't noticed Susanna's hand. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> also hilarious. <laughs> Oh, my rolling ability is amazing. Um, now the question is, is your rolling ability amazing just for Lena, or is your rolling ability amazing for everything? Oh no, my rolling ability... I, I once played a game, um, an RP session, in um, it was Star Wars Online. And oh god. We were rolling on a, a random number generator, so it was a D one hundred technically, and I never rolled in double digits for the entire three hour session. Oof. No. <laughs> Yikes. See the equivalent of rolling like ones and two on a D twenty all evening. That's horrible. So yeah, no, it's just me. <laughs> Amy's are we? <laughs> yes, basically. Except apparently when you're rolling for, for enemies. Oh, no, no. I was rolling kind of shit for the enemies. The group loved it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um. <coughs> so, what are you making for dinner? Anything interesting? I mean, I don't expect it would be particularly interesting. Not that that's anything to say against your cooking ability, but uh, what are you making for dinner? It's just, it's trail stew. It's what I had that will keep for traveling. When we get back to town, I'll actually make something 
interesting. Well, you don't need to do anything on my account. Certainly, I apologize for my um, clumsy word in there, but it's very nice of you to make dinner for us. Actually, while I remember, do you guys have any particular food you favor or would like me to try and make at least once? Maybe not while we're on the road, but perhaps while we're in town or I have access to an actual kitchen. But maybe I can suggest something later. I am. Um, I haven't had proper hot cocoa in years. Literal years. But you know, no rush. Um. I'm going to take this tea over to Vera. Lena, could you see if I were still hanging on to my guns? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, of course. Thank you so much. Um, I would say Lena's probably gone a few minutes. Um, and instead of Lena coming back, Vera comes back. Um, mug of tea in one hand, um, and your guns in the other. Zana. Excellent. And then, um, right behind her is kind. Of, um, I'm gonna even make a. Right behind her is Lena, kind of um, carrying the dwarf from inside the temple. In her arm. Um, and she kind of places her into one of the other tents um, and covers her with a blanket before heading back over to the fire. Um, and as she wanders back over, Beira says, um, she seems to be asleep. I figure it's safe enough to leave her for now. She's asleep. She woke up? Beira kind of um, shrugs and Lena says, Briefly, um, just for a few seconds. Pretty sure she's asleep now, right? Just like she was before. Bias just blinks at that, and like, you kind of see the wheels turning in his head. So that's. Uh, uh positive sign certainly well if it means what i was thinking of before maybe knocking them out when they try to attack us and dragging them outside of whatever arcane uh, thing this is it's almost like they're uh, in stasis of time or something if we're doing a full rescue of as many as we can get we're gonna need something a little bit more effective than just carrying because well i can maybe carry one person over my shoulders and keep moving you've seen me as a dire wolf i can be something large that can carry at least two people it's but the more the more of us that are tied down carrying people the less we have in case something comes up behind us. I, I don't say that uh, this be as we're searching, maybe just the people in the courtyard. Maybe uh, take some of them and knock them out and drag them away? Acting as if knocking them out is a simple or easy affair that won't provoke additional attacks from their companions I trying to fight all of them and not get any of them killed it's not gonna there is a way to be non-lethal with damage blunt weapons careful precision and I have healing magic Thank Susanna you. almost looks a little bit offended at that by the way yeah. uh, bias it is very hard to be shot and not die. 
I think he realizes what he said and he goes, Oh, no, 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 I, I'm so sorry. I, I mean, like, you can just, like, maybe... It, I, so it's okay. I know how to shoot guns and I know how to shoot people in a non-lethal fashion. However, that will cause them considerable pain. And in fact, most people don't tend to enjoy that. No, I it's quite possible they'd rather be dead. <laughs> and he kind of like looks a little bit sheepish at that. And like maybe rubs his shoulder. You have no idea why he does this, but he does it anyway. <laughs> well, in any case, not in the the difficulty of knocking them out without killing them. The point is in the difficulty of engaging them all in combat, lethal or non-lethal, and still not getting ourselves killed, getting other people injured. It's not the process requires a certain amount of delicacy that I do not believe we possess. <laughs> this is not to say it's a bad plan. I'm just saying perhaps it would require some refining, some ironing out of the details, some different strategies, a little extra. I don't know. No, I, I understand you. I, I just meant this as another option. If not comfortable going inside maybe just trying it on a smaller group of like two like, that's four people it, it is just an option and i, I think this way. it does have merit because if we know that this is reversible then that means that we know that when we find dylan But I think before, if we're going to actually plan, we should get, and we should get Talia, and we should talk as a group. That is something I wanted to suggest, mostly because I have ideas. They're, they might not be the best ones, but I, I want. You're the ones who can see the fuckers. And I don't want. I want us to have a plan of action. And I, I want us to actually act. Tomorrow, I agree. We can. I agree with bias. We should put together a plan. Where am? We're stronger as a group. So plan tonight. Sleep. Wake up and. Tomorrow or sleep, wake up, plan, and enact the plan tomorrow. I think we possibly could all do is sleep and try to plan. I'm... I mean, it's only what time is it, please, Dian? Uh, it is around about seven p.m. Okay. It's only seven p.m. Yeah, it, Vias definitely looks antsy, like he. I, I don't know how we can throw it. some ideas out there tonight and then finalize our plans and decisions in the morning after we've all slept on it and then um, go forward from there. I think two if revisions that's... of a plan would be a good idea. At the very least, we have knowledge of what's inside there right now in our minds. It might bring something to light. Also... Um, so that we know, one of us should go talk to Mira or Dylan about what we know about the time limit, about if it's, if it carries over, if you can leave the area and then go back, right back in or what, because that was, good I idea. I can go in and inquire, ask some questions. If that is acceptable to everyone. I don't so, have any issues with that. 
phone with me. I'm okay with it, but are you sure? I don't see why I wouldn't be. Okay, I just... I don't know if I can shake your head. I, I, I'm fussing over nothing. I'm sorry. My hands are shaking, not my mind down. I'm fine. I don't trust... I don't trust your one. And I don't either. We're on the same page. And I don't want... I'm fussing over nothing. It's... You'll be fine. You'd like to accompany down, or you're more than welcome. Well versed in conversing with folks who I know would just as soon kill me as I kill them. Maybe I should go and talk with them. At least let Gillen do it. I haven't. Uh, I was busy with Mercy's ritual. I'd like to, if, if anybody's going to be talking with Gillen, I'd like to talk with him myself, personally, just because. Alone. Doesn't have to be alone, Vice, if you're not comfortable with that. But he might be more comfortable if I'm alone. That doesn't make me feel comfortable. I don't know, Vice. You make your own decisions. Well, if you, I'm not saying that you are incapable. I'm just saying I don't. It's good to have a second I'd... opinion on people. I don't believe you're saying I'm incapable, Vice. In any case, I'd rather converse because I think perhaps people will be in a better mood. Maybe he's not a morning person. Maybe he's an evening. What do y'all think? Personally, I, if, while we're still making a plan, we should at least have more of an idea on what's going on because that gives us That means we know what we have to plan around. All right. Well, in that case, there better be some decision made about who, if anyone, will be coming with me. I'm, uh, I'm gonna take some food over to Talia. Vias, are you willing to go with her? I mean, I offered, but it seems like it's not... Vias, I'm not attempting to sway your decision one way or the other. I just want to assure you that I'm capable of doing it either way you choose. Um... What, Anna, you want if you're doing this, I... what you need to know is that He's sent people in, they haven't come back, and he keeps doing it. Oh, Diana, I know. Vias doesn't. Vias wasn't. That's true. Vias, he'd kill us if he thought it would make it to his goal. I think at that, his, like, expression darkens. He's not a particular I'm not nice I will be going with them. If you don't mind, I would like to see this murder. All right. Just don't be too nice. No, I think that's your job. Oh, you <laughs> flatter me. <laughs> <laughs> he just gives her a kiss. Please <laughs> try to not start an incident. I've never started anything in my life, Down. I don't know what you're talking about. 
No, you just tend to finish things that other people start. Well, that's very true. I never want to leave something unfinished. That is not the way my parents raised me. No. Indeed. I'm glad you agree. Oh, let's go before it gets too dark. You can make things blow over us. I don't understand the concern, shall we? <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> and Susanna offers her arm. He'll take it. <laughs> Give All it right. like a small pat. All right, and then Susanna will walk over to where she thinks Gillen might be. I don't know where anybody is in this place. I think Vias went there at least, like, to see uh, the, uh, what's her freaking name? M Myra, Myra? Well, they Myra. went they went together to see Mira. Yeah. So, yeah. As you head kind of through the camp, there's kind of the big central building at the top that's used as kind of offices and things. Um, and as you kind of get into the central area and pause and look around for Mira, you see her kind of sat at a small table, kind of in that sort of area, with um Ellie, who was the half elf that found you as you kind of came into camp. Um, and they're both kind of sat there kind of talking about something with mugs of tea in hand, um, kind of heads together talking in low voices. Um, and um, there's kind of other people at the table, but they seem to be having, kind of having a private conversation. As you glance around, there's no immediate sign of Gillen anywhere. All right, Mayor will have to do for the purposes of this conversation, shall we? Yes. Oh, and Susanna put put her pulled her veil back on, um, before heading over in this direction. Mm. You get kind of almost the table. Mira looks up and spots you, um, and as she does, she kind of the, the kind of friendly, open expression she had when she was talking to Ellie kind of dropped into a more kind of professional, slightly closed exp uh, expression, and she kind of smiles formally and nods to you and. Good evening, how can I help? Well, we um, just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. I know we've already bothered you with some um, earlier today, but I, we just want a few clarification on some things. If that's Right, um, of course. Um, i tell you what, why don't we um, step over? Um, and she kind of points off to one side. Why don't we step over there a moment? And she kind of rests her hand on Ellie's shoulder. Excuse us a moment. Be right back. It's and she so kind nice of to see you, Ellie. I hope you're doing all right. And Ellie kind of um, smiles and nods her head and buries her kind of, you know, just kind of picks her tea, uh, her cup, whatever it was, back up and kind of um, almost hides behind it uh, as kind of Mira walks off to one side and waits for you. Susanna will follow yeah, Mira. Bias follows too. Um, how can I help? Um, I understand that. One of your party is stuck in the temple. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, genuinely, I am so sorry. That's all right, dear. It's okay. Temporary problems are set back. I, I hope so. We know, you know so. Lena was saying that you rescued one of the dwarves, and she seems to be well, not as violent as the others. I hope well, you can get to your. Hopefully you can get to your friend uh, soon. I'm sure we will. There's no doubt in my mind about that. Um, especially since we intend to go in quite well informed um, at the top of the morning tomorrow. So, I have a few questions just regarding mm -hmm. time limit as, as such. So, how often does Gillen go into the temple? Oh, it varies, um, never frequently than every three days, or every third day, I should say. Um, sometimes once a week, sometimes twice a week. He right. spreads it out as much as he can. So he believes that it's safer to go in with larger gaps in between the um, exposure. He, he doesn't always confide all of these things in me. Um, 
I he spreads it out, I think, because he has other work to do. Um, right. The cataloging and the translating. Um, he. I genuinely don't know if he spreads it out because he thinks it's safer or because he just thought it thinks it would be foolish to go in more often. Um, I have a question as well. Uh, Gillen frequents the temple every three days or several times. Is there anybody aside from Gillen that goes in there frequently? More often than once every have, three days? We have a small party that goes in every day or so. Um, we haven't sent anyone at the moment because you're here and risking too many people in the temple at what seems to be a party. Um, we normally send in a group every other day normally to just head into the kind of the entrance area to pick up what they can to um, make sketches of them out. They're normally in there for maybe an hour, sometimes a little more. Uh, we had a, a few parties go further in, but the risk wasn't really worth the information we were getting back, so we put a stop to the well. I put a stop to that. I'm glad right. Very cautious of you. Very respectable. I appreciate that. I do have a thing of a duty of care to these people. Of course you do. Somebody has to. Well, um, and she kind of prickles a little bit. Uh, that her back kind of she straightens. And squints at you a little bit. So, my next question, though perhaps this would be better to speak with Gillen about, but I didn't see him about. Do you. Uh, I suppose this isn't something you might really have information about if you go in every other day or every three days, but if you go in for a set period of time, say an hour, hour and a half, come back out, how long would you have to wait, as it were? I don't know. Um... Generally speaking, we only send people in once a day. Um, some of the earlier groups went in, came out, went back in again with apparent no side effects. Then again, we've had some people go in, come out and come back in and never be seen again. Um, we put a hard limit of an hour. Um, Ilan argued with me, with me when I introduced that, said I was being overly cautious, but we know for certain that an hour is safe. Two hours in some areas seems to be safe. We've had people in there for five or six hours and come out with no problem whatsoever, but didn't want to risk that they were the exception. All right. And, um, do you have a rough? So, for me, this dwarf. Hmm. Has nobody done that? Has nobody tried to bring somebody out in this fashion? Or what happened if they did? We had... The problem we have is that we don't have that many fighters. We're mostly scholars, academics. Um, and it... It almost shames me to admit that after a while it became easier to avoid the groups in the hopes of finding, pausing this madness, if we could find what was causing it we could stop it and rescue them all in one go and then time passed and it never quite worked out that way that's right. on, on on me i suppose um tobias no. that uh, like she's telling the truth um make an insight check okay. i will make one as well egg dig oof nope he has no clue. He's too distraught. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, bias to you, it seems like she's being completely straight and level with you. Um, uh, PK. Susanna gets the impression that she's kind of mostly telling the truth, but a lot of it is kind of behind a kind of filter of being as polite as possible and putting as good a spin as on the situation as possible and kind of, you know, trying to maintain appearance. Um, she's not lying, but she's kind of trying to smooth things over as much as possible. I get you. I get you. Okay. 
All right, Susanna will say, oh, of course it makes sense. And you all being scholars, it would not make sense to have such a risk in attempting to interact with these people. Goodness, some of them we are quite aggressive in there, aren't they? My goodness. It, we found that the aggressiveness did get worse further in Temple they were. Um, mm -hmm. We've managed to retrieve occasional individuals who were safe to subdue and, and and bring back and we brought back um one young fellow who'd been um who'd only been in there a few hours later um there was a poor chap though um who'd been in there um well he was in there when we arrived we don't know how long he'd been in the state of him um emaciated um possibly I would say weeks, but I don't know if you've noticed, but they don't seem to need to eat or drink. Some of those people have been in there weeks and there are no negative side effects. The magic there seems to stay in them. It's like a metamorphosis of some sort. We thought of that. Um, we had a cleric out here and he couldn't see uh, anything in particular of an illness or a disease. It's it's definitely something arcane in nature. Um, I but this poor ch sorry sorry yeah well this poor chap he'd been there. It looked like he'd been there days or weeks. We suspect he'd possibly been there. And we brought him out and he made something of recovery. But um, well we um we sent him back with um a small delegation to to him and he um he went to a medical facility there and we. He's, well, he made as much of a recovery as he could. I see. I have a uh, question. Um, yes, yes, of course. You did... Those strange orbs of light, the the ones that attack you. I, I'm not sure well, if I, you can see them. I, I can't, but others have talked about uh, Have you ever had a moment where... Uh, when you're being a possibly if you've ever gotten close to them the those people that are stuck and they've tried to attack you or are aggravated uh, have you ever been shocked by whatever i i haven't but some of the others have reported some effects the orbs seem to be um well they uh, guarding them maybe I don't think they're guarding the people. We've been able to move past both people and we've had encounters with the people with no problem of which you speak, but they don't seem to react particularly well to arcane magics around them. They seem to, to dislike that, but yet sometimes they react with curiosity, sometimes they react with anger. <laughs> They'd be worth a study in and of themselves, I suppose. Situational serious. Um, Elon might be able to offer you more insight. He's um he was called back to uh, Kaimal business. He should be back um tomorrow afternoon, maybe uh, the morning after. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, thank you. Pestering you with these questions, but no, pester away. Um, it's the least I can do, considering, but. Well, you came here to help, and your friend is now stuck in there, so answering questions is the least I can do. Again. I hope you find him. We will. I'm not going to lose him again, that's for sure. We'll leave you to your tea now. I'm terribly sorry for the bother. Oh, not a bother at all. Um, enjoy your evening. Well, rest Thank well. You. Thank you, and you as well. Bye. And Susanna holds out her arm again. He takes it. And he and just gives a small out. nod to her and walks off. Okay. As you, if you glance back, you would see her kind of go, kind of drop, kind of flop almost into the seat next to um, Ellie. Oh. 
Okay, that wasn't as helpful as I thought it would be. But... Well, it's a shame Gilwyn isn't around. I don't expect he tells her particularly much. Corrupt bastard. Not the word I would use, but in, in applicable terms, certainly. You might not use them, but I will in your stead, I suppose. I do appreciate that, that's it's very helpful. Oh, well, we freaking need them out there. Oh. He's just like furiously, like, he just looks extremely frustrated. In any case, we know that Dylan won't starve in there in the next several days. Not that I expect it'll take us too long to. Retrieve him. He couldn't have gotten extremely far in the time it took us to get to the entrance. And he could have gotten far though. Maybe. We don't know how ample is because we we're meant to be mapping it, if you recall. And he quite possibly could have been making some very poor decisions about the direction he was choosing to go in. Maybe. One of the things that concerns me is that they discussed earlier how some people had gotten trapped behind rocks falling. We know that the temple isn't quite structurally sound and who knows what our disturbance might have caused. And I'm just, I fret that we may have caused some damage to the structure mm. in some way with our Yes, aggravation please. of the occupants I don't know well don't that's like something to find out tomorrow I suppose yeah I I do not doubt that we will not find him we will find him and I don't doubt that we have to we will we will I mean it's it's We'll find him. I, I think at that, he gives like a small, like, puts his other hand on her, the their locked arms, and just gives her a soft pat at that. In Suzanne and us. And I mean, he's, you know, tied to the, the Raven Queen and all that, so it's not like anything can get to go too horribly wrong for him. I mean, there is plenty of clerics to the Raven Queen and her champions that have died, I suppose, in her name. But I think that would be kind of a uh, unglorious way. It's just, I mean, you know, fate and everything. Yeah, I might have to talk to, maybe ask the Moon Weaver or something, if she'll listen to me. I admit I don't know much about the Raven Queen in general, but they, I, y'all seem quite, I mean, Raven Queen and Moon Weaver, and y'all all seem quite close to a number of folks, and that's very exciting for you. I'm talking about nonsense now. <laughs> you are fine, Susanna. It's faith in things are not always for other people, but it's sometimes a... It, it, it's a thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> certainly not for everyone. No. My sister used to try and explain her dreams to me. I never got it. Your sister had dreams? She said she did. I don't know that I believed her. <sighs> yes. I mean, you know, she liked to tell stories. I understand how that is. <laughs> well, shall we um explain to the others our the information or lack thereof that we have gathered? I suppose we should and plan around that and the fact that Gillen is gone. Right. Seemingly at an opportune time 
runs off to Kamal in the middle of this. All that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Mm. It's almost like he doesn't want us to be his problem. He doesn't consider anything to be his problem. He kind of just... I, I think you probably... You don't understand what he says, but you probably take it as some sort of swear, because he speaks in Marquisian. Just says a small phrase in Marquisian that doesn't sound very floral at all. <laughs> Okie doke. So as the two of you are walking back to the rest of the group around the campfire, minus Talia, who is still sta- sat um, watching over the term, um, you see like, someone um, come wandering out of the trees, um, kind of a little way south of... Um, the tents you've kind of claimed roughly along the same path that you all used to enter the forest and come through to the tent. Um, and your first impression is kind of um, well-worn clothing. Um, it's kind of, there's rips, there's there's patches, there's dirt. Um, they're reasonably, t- they're pretty tall actually, probably uh, pushing kind of amongst the tallest in the group there's long black hair there's brown skin um and there's noticeable even at this distance scars on their face um and they kind of wander out of the trees um they stare up at the temple and then um start walking towards the group sat around the fire um and josh if you'd like to go for it um so Clancy walks up to you guys. The first thing they say is, hello, is this your magic place? Excuse me? Um, I mean, it's, it's big. Is it yours? Not so, no, we're just. Nobody owns this place, I don't think. Oh, well, that that actually makes a lot of sense. Can we help you, friend? Um. Vias looks a little bit confused and, yeah. Um. Do you, do you, is there a way inside? Are you going inside? I think we quite rushed past the proper phase of our introductions. Excuse me, what is your (laughs) name? Oh. Um. Clancy. Name. You seem a little sure about that oh well it, it's a little new to me i'm sorry uh-huh well it is a pleasure to meet you clancy um lena totally um, has her hand on a knife at the point yeah, <laughs> that's you fair you see bias having his like fingers inside his boot and like the glint of a knife at his like thigh Susanna is weaponless at the moment, but she, uh, she... It's nice to meet you, Clancy. I'm Mrs. Pro. Uh. May I presume Talia has noticed that something is happening? Um. How far away are you? I would say you've probably heard a kind of sudden increase in in kind of the volume of conversation. What was kind of a background moment was kind of turned a little accusatory. Yeah, and I think if Talia doesn't seem to have noticed, um, Adana would kind of pause, take a moment to look in that direction, and I cannot replicate this, so I'm just going to say that she does it, and just do a whistle in a short ascending pattern just as a kind of hey can you talia immediately like perks and looks over and sees this new person and is like oh i don't like that shit 
Kelly is valid. We do not trust like that. Um, <laughs> we, we do not trust this strange, possibly vaguely stern or a goth child. Uh, can Talia, like, get into the woods behind this? The vague way, way that Clancy came from? Um, I'd say it's going to take you a minute or so, but yes, you absolutely can. Yeah, I'm trying to move so that Clancy doesn't know that I'm there. Um, make me a stealth check with advantage. Um, what's Clancy's passive perception? Clancy's passive perception should be nine, but let me check. <laughs> Eighteen. It is nine. Yeah. Um. You. Yeah. You can totally move around without Clancy knows. Okay. I'm gonna try to get behind this new person. Um. Another thing about Clancy, other than they're very tall very young and they're also and um sort of underweight uh, did, okay did, but how tall is very tall uh, like, that was my next um, question very how tall scale of lena to diona how tall are how we tall, talking how tall is diona six diona eight like six eight and how Lina's tall is five eleven i think it's um, vera who's six one man Probably yeah. taller than Vera. If Vera's six one, a little taller than Vera. Oh, Lena's not going to be impressed. <laughs> I don't think anybody here is. Lena doesn't like being short. <laughs> I mean, she's fine with Diona. Yeah, because she knows Diona. Okay. She's seen Diona punch things. She appreciates Diona's ability to punch things. Does Clancy look human? Yes. Clancy looks human. Clancy. Is a human person okay? Human, yes, human. Well, we think Clancy is a human person. We also thought Bias was a human person, but uh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Wow. Anyway. You got punked. <laughs> Susanna says, um, what? Where did you come from just now, Clancy? Um, the woods. I. <laughs> That's a fair answer. Where? Who are you? Um. Uh, I'm yeah. Clancy. And and why are you here, Clancy? Hi. Um, I'm good. Um. Because there's I really magic. I know magic. I'm familiar with magic. I was looking for something familiar out here. Well, that's not creepy at all. Um, Clancy, how old are you? Yeah. <laughs> 18. Oh, my lord. But mom is sick, and everybody else over there is sick, and I'm like, also, I'm, I've got TV stuff that I can Susanna just, like, turns around. She turns around. <laughs> she faces away from Clancy, and she says in her breath, "He's that's a baby. What's a baby doing out here in the woods next to this temple? What the... Yeah. And then she turns back around to face Clancy. I know, I, and I what do brought you out here? Like, you literally you just... <laughs> I'm sorry, you came into the woods because there was magic here. I well, I didn't mom. come into the woods because I was there was magic here. I was in the woods already. And you... Okay, why were you in the woods already? Um, because I was in the woods. I, I like, I like Where were you before you were in the woods? Um, in a boat. And where was the boat? What what um, what water was the boat upon? On water. Yes, which water? There's more than one. I just saw one. Right. Uh, so was it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be on that boat. They were kind of mad. Where were you supposed to be? On the boat. Mm hmm. But then I was on the boat. I mostly want to be off the boat because it was already on the water, so I'm here now. Uh -huh. Do you know the name of the boat you were on? Um, boats have names. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Um, I mean, 
I'm still getting used to the people have names thing. What are your names? Names are important. Yep. What are your names? Yep. Or you can open your power up to them. Yep. I can't do that. Like I said, I'm Mrs. Crow. I will let everyone else introduce themselves. I'm I'm Lena. Hello. Hello. Dion, I'm Um, I'm I'm sorry. Can, can we just? Where were you before the boat? Or or better question, how did you end up on the boat? Because you you weren't supposed to be on the boat, but you were. So how? Oh God, I missed. I snuck on the boat. Okay. Well, why did you sneak on the boat? Oh. Um. I was leaving. Where I was. Okay. I know. Leaving, leaving how much? Where? I don't know how much I can. If I tell you where I'm from, you're not from. You're not going to make me go back. We don't send. No, no, of course we're not. We don't have any interest in making people do anything. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Well, I'm from the city. Which city? There are more than one. What? Oh dear. Do you know the name of the place that you are from? City. He doesn't, this... know, names. He doesn't know names. Does the city, do the people in the city call it something other than city? Oh, it's just the city. Okay. And is it? Is it hot? Um, cold? Yeah. Are there lots of trees? So oh, it's in the north. We're not. Ohio. Please. Oh, that kind of city. Okay. Hey, Joff, I have a question. Uh, hello. What's Clancy's intelligence score? Um, 18. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask what his wisdom score what, is. What's his wisdom score, then? It's 8. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> we have a good... If he could probably tell, Clancy can tell you pi to like 25 decimal places, but probably couldn't tell you how to tie your shoe. Like. Excellent. I'm to assume Clancy even knows what a shoe is. I adore Clancy already. <laughs> okay. I, my problem with Clancy is that we're not going to get to know the strange starter goth child because. <laughs> I missed a lot of that conversation because my dad's girlfriend's son came. It's in. okay. He did not tell us anything of material value. <laughs> Except that he no. doesn't understand the point of names. He Apparently, he's still getting oh, used to the fact that people have names. They're alone, like places and he objects. Told us jack and... Shit. That's what he told us. He what? He told us jack shit. Okay, yeah, well, they don't jack know anything. Shit is still something. God dang it. Well, you you'll be able to read this one. I have to run real quick. I need to go. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm be listening so, in though. I get the sense that we're moving sort of in, in, in a counterproductive direction. I don't know about the rest of you, but I feel like there's not a lot here. So how about we go the other way? What are you planning to do now that you're here, Clan? I want to see the magic. Okay. Do you? I expected something different. Do you want to see it for a, per a reason, or do you want to see it just because it's there? Oh, well, it's magic. Yes. Uh, I I'm supposed to look at magic. So who's? I was gonna go look at the magic, but I. Who says you're supposed to look at magic? I mean, it was my job in the city. 
to to work with magic, but um, empty. And okay. Um. Well, there's there's certainly magic here. Um, okay. and it's not very safe, but I suppose you could look at it. Um, carefully, and from a distance. And when was the last time you ate something? Um, I ate a, uh, oh, to structure, and it's been really unstructured ever since I left, and it's freaking me out a little bit, actually, to tell you the truth. Dana just kind of sighs, and you can just, you can see, it's a full body sigh, and she just kind of turns around, goes and grabs one of the plates that yeah. Lena had grabbed. As she's doing that, Lena is kind of ushering Clancy towards the fire and the food. <laughs> Dana, yeah. it's time to adopt another child. <laughs> no, Dana is just like, we won't get any fucking sense out of whoever yeah. the fuck this is. Lena the fact is also they haven't eaten is the most sensical thing they've said. So I'm just gonna fucking handle that and see what happens. Lena is also fully on the board the whole, you know, teenagers need to eat a lot <laughs> to be able to, you know, function. <laughs> so true. Lena remembers that. Has anyone noticed that Talia has like fucked off or like uh yeah. Um, no, because I mean, no, my that Diana had said... noticed that Talia had moved, because that was what the indication was was Because I mean, Talia's not where they were. That. Yeah. Susanna's passive perception is like 15, so. It, need, it would need to be an 18. Right, so. Uh, so yeah, I... but to notice where Talia isn't anymore. Because <laughs> Talia was staying in the same spot, and now they're not there. That's what was. Um, yeah, Diana just kind of is filling a plate with what she can because, in the hopes that if the food thing is handled, possibly something more coherent might come out. Maybe. That's, Tal that's a stretch. Talia is watching very carefully, just carefully to see what happens with food shit. Um, and. Hey, Josh, can you flip a coin for me? <laughs> um, I don't have any coins on me. Oh, roll a d2. I don't care. Just. Okay. I'm a little scared. I, I'm just deciding What's something. There we go. What's going on? Everything's fine. Oh, boy. We're feeding the boy. <laughs> or the, the child. We're feeding child. the child. The child. This mysterious child. The child is being fed. Um, whether, whether this child likes it or not. Good. <laughs> you will sit down and you will eat a full meal. So help Mom me. Mom told us to eat our veggies, damn it. Exactly. <laughs> um, okay, it was a Tuesday, Jamie is not going to do what I was thinking she would. But that's uh... fine. So yeah, she just hands him the plate and a chunk of the camp bread she made for eat, and we'll sort out what's going on later. Uh, okay. <laughs> and they, they eat. Does Clancy look but hurt they, at all? They, like, with that they figure weird... it out. Do they look hurt at all? Like... They said, like, mm -hmm. worn down clothing, but is there, like, visible signs that they were, like, I don't know. <laughs> the only sign that they've ever been injured is three very neat scars on the right side of their face. Start from their ear to right underneath the corner of their eye. I really don't like that, Josh. <laughs> I'm glad you don't. You shouldn't. That's not at all fucking ominous. Vias is thinking about all the murder mystery books in his mind that he's read. 
and like, also, all the what books like just mystery books and he's like escaped subject is what he's thinking right now <laughs> Murder, <laughs> <hobo. laughs> they don't know what things are i mean i think i have a question is there mm -hmm. a is there an actual like decent tree like decently close to the campfire? Um, there are a couple kind of here and in this sort of area um, that you would be able to climb up with probably um, minimal noticing since people are kind of busy and the sun has gone down. So you, it's probably mostly dark by now. So I would say there's two or three that you could probably climb and get a good view over the campfire. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okey doke. Um, I would say make a stealth check with advantage. Okay. Because it is dark and people are distracted. That's disadvantage. Sixteen. Um, and I believe the highest percep. What's the highest passive perception? I believe is. Hang on, what's Spira's? She had a pretty high passive perception. I know Diana's is 15. Um, oh, Susanna apparently has the same. Yeah. Well, I mean, Lena's is 10, so there's no point in even looking at Lena's. Vera's is, uh, is, uh, is a 16. His is 15. Vera's is a 16. Dean. Um, however, I, I would say we've got almost half the party who have 15 passives. It's the squad, okay? The squad has a nice, clean 15. I would the say that us got um, bumps. <laughs> I would say Tal that um, as Talia's climbing the tree, they notice that Vera makes eye contact with them and notices I'm in the tree. But Vera's going to leave them to do their own thing as long as they're not obviously being self-destructive about anything. Yeah, Talia makes a motion to be like, shh, quiet, don't say a fucking word right now. I wish you kind of get the impression that um, Vera's almost rolling her eyes at that, but is willing to go with it for the moment. <laughs> I'm going to be... I'm gonna I get like the impression a... Vera has a good line in rolling her eyes. I'm going to be like on a branch close enough that like if needed... Two, I could like jump down and fucking like take Clancy out like a bitch. Thank you, Dick. No worries. And, and Vice is trying that to act so casual, valid. but he's got his finger like inside his boot, like up by his thigh, and he's obviously gripping something, just trying to be like casual about it, but he doesn't trust the situation. Clancy has weapons. All they have with them is a bag, I mean, a small bag. Yeah, that's even worse because. <laughs> They trap considering like the forest around. He's not really, uh... yeah. Yeah. Um, I was just concerned. Su Susanna's gonna lean over to Diona and whisper, "Hey, um, this there's salt in the food. Is that an would that be enough to know if if um very possible." <laughs> Talia get the salt bag just in case. Where is Talia? <laughs> yeah, as you glance around, you can't see Talia. As, okay, a new priority, where's Talia? <laughs> <laughs> Would Vias have heard that? that? She's talking quietly. She's still whispering just to Diona. I mean, you can, you can try and make a perception check if you would like to t try and spot Talia. I will do so because I am like that. <laughs> I like to roll dice. <sighs> Come on, Susanna. Here you are. Yes. 18. Um, you glance around um, and you eventually spot Talia kind of perched on a branch nearby um and it takes you a few minutes to spot her because to spot them because you know they are blending in as best they can with the tree around them wait technically don't i get like super like advantage or like i get like a cover shit for being a wood elf hold on i don't know do you mask of the wild uh yeah yeah but that does, i do but that doesn't apply here thank you 
I mean, I would say the, the one person you're focusing, hyper focusing on trying to avoid is is the new guy. Yeah, um, I do. I would make a motion to like Susanna, like stop, like shut, up, shut up, <laughs> shut up. That, that's fair. Susanna will shut up and like just walk <laughs> over, like walk away casually from Diana, just somewhere else. So, just to verify, <laughs> Clancy is able to eat, right? There's not. Okay. Fine. Kind of like they're really hungry, actually. Uh, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Did they anybody have any happen to ask Clancy if they they knew what age they were? 18. Yeah, they're 18. They're 18. Okay. I they're a fucking that. baby. Small. Not that much of a baby. The the legal adult. No, they're a fucking baby. If you ask Susanna, <laughs> those are the baby. words she they're, will use. They're younger than Vias. <laughs> she will actually swear. Not in common. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Why do you think Vias chooses Marquisian to swear most of the time? Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Um, I, cat, I cat, my hand is thing. not for chewing on. Cat. It is, though. The cat but knows best. But it's there. I, I and the cat is there. I have Mercy watching Clancy like a hawk. <laughs> like she is. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. So you mean just watching him in general? Yeah. I, I, I think. Them, them sorry. <laughs> Both works. Okay, this is awkward. So you came here because there was magic, and you're supposed to check it out? Um, I mean, I'm used to checking out. Well, I'm not used to seeking out magic. Not magic. Um, I felt the magic, and I... I guess, I don't know, I was just kind of wandering aimlessly before. Do, do Clancy's clothes look like they're appropriate for the weather, or do they no. look like... No. They look like they're, like, in a kind of warm house. I think... Susanna reaches into one of her um, massive pockets that hold many secrets, and she pulls out a bundle of green cloth, and it's the cloak she received from the other thing that she's not going to fucking wear, and so she hands it to Clancy. They take it slowly and kind of hold it up. What am I supposed to do with this? It's clothes for your body. It's meant to keep you warm. Let's do that. Oh my goodness. Susan takes the cloak back, back from them and like puts it around their shoulders. I, I think at that bias would stand up with his hand still like kind of tucked in his boot and be like, I'll get a blanket and go to one of the tents and go grab one of his blankets. That is a good idea. Okay. Oh my goodness. How far were how long were you in the woods? Um, a while. Do you know what time is? Is that a thing that not everyone around here knows what time is? Do you know what time is? Well, I know what time is in like the abstract. I'm not used to keeping track of it. Uh how many times has the sun set while you were in the forest? Oh, no, I wasn't keeping track. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's, don't, that's, that's not my job. Don't worry about it. You're right. That isn't your job. That's somebody else's job. These days, it's my job. Okay. I think Vice would return sure. two blankets and probably just like set them around I have those? his shoulders. <laughs> I was kind of under the impression people didn't have specific people to to keep track of time. It was more of a whoever wants to, and that's weird. 
that weird? It's probably not weird to you. It keeping track of time is something I happen to be good at. That makes sense. That's what people do when they're good at things. They do the things. That's right. I'm good at magic. So I, so it seems to have been implied. That's very exciting for you. Thanks. <laughs> they're so pure. I'm going to cry. <laughs> yeah, at this point, Vias has put two blankets around Clancy's shoulders. They, they have not taken any notice of this. Yeah, and he kind of just, like, deliberately steps in front of Clancy and, like, adjusts them so it's around them entirely. And just gives, like, a pat. That's when they notice and they're kind of like, huh, what? You should be warmer now. Yeah. And, okay. So well, now that we've established that it's been some time since you ate, do you know when the last time you slept was? Um, when it last, well, you're supposed to sleep when it's light, but I slept when it was kind of dark because I was tired. Why are you supposed to sleep when it's light? It's because there's light at night. What? No. Mm. That, that's not normal, is it? What is normal? It's okay. Thing? So, you slept when it was dark, most recently, is what you're saying? Yeah. And I woke up and it was still dark. Is it? Okay, that's fine. What? So you don't know what time it is? Um, it is no. I mean, it's, it's, it's. know all the words what words would you let don't worry about using our words use what words you think are right right i mean we're not supposed to have light like that like like and they point at the campfire we're not supposed to have stuff like that i mean where i'm from Okay. Do You're you from why? someplace very different, aren't you, Clancy? I, I've been figuring that out over the past. Okay. You, how about you go, you finish your dinner. Okay. You just focus on that for a minute. Back to eating. Uh, is gonna go and walk away. Josh, it looks like question. Hi, yes, I love to take questions at this time. Did, did you deliberately set Clancy up to be even more goddamn confusing than Talia is? Um, this was not intentional. I came up with the concept, and then I started realizing the implications, and I was like, oh, no. Yeah, Vice does not trust them. <laughs> we don't yeah, trust like this. Don't. Probably Tal shouldn't. Talia's also not about this. Can we make an insight check on Clancy to see if they're being, like, deliberately stupid? Yeah, I mean, I can, can yes. confused. I would uh, say like, go for it. Yeah, I'm going to attempt one as well, because what the fuck? Yeah. What? Natural Ooh. 20. Tell you, tell us. Um, they are not telling any lies. Oh my god. Okay, I'm, but I rolled a natural 20. Yeah, I know. Is there any... Are they being, like, intentionally stupid? Like... Oh. Nope, this is exactly what you get. This is their perception of the world where they are from, and it's confusing them that it is different. And I am deeply worried about where they're from. Because, Josh, go I'm pretty sure if we didn't need another Feywild. Yeah, Vice is oh, no, it's an not. absolute meltdown again. <laughs> 
You can't keep no. doing it. No, I am not concerned about Feywild. I'm concerned about, say, Underdark or no. Escape Human Experiment. Yeah, that's a, that was not the Underdark. Underdark. Jeff, well, I'm going to need you to stop saying things in that tone of voice. <laughs> okay. At this point, as he's eating, Lena's going to lean forward and just be like, um, the the other people that live in the city with you, are they, they, are they like you? Do they look like you? Uh, uh, some look like me. I mean, not, not like me. What, what do you mean by like me? Um, well, do any of them look like me? Um, yeah, some of them. Okay. And do they all, um, work with magic like you do? Or do some of them not work with magic not at all? Not everyone, you know, good at magic. I'm good at magic. That's why I work with magic. Um, but some of them don't. Lots of them don't actually. It's only the the really, the really good. The the ones who know magic work with magic. Okay. And I know magic. Uh huh. That really doesn't help at all. Okay. Ah, uh, the. It, what type of magic? Like, can you do healing? Um, no. Okay. okay. I mean, it's not all magic. I'm just good at magic. Um, I understand. So, what's something you could do, for example? Give us, give us some kind of example. Um, um. Well, and there's magic. Uh, well, I can do that. Like, if there's if there's a lot of it in <laughs> in one um sort of tell but if you need to find smaller more specific ones um that i have magic for that um i can move things people who aren't right there Oh no, is PK talking and I can't hear? No, I'm just indecisive, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, so, you know, some magic, and you're interested in checking out the magic that you can sense here. That's very interesting. Do you know, you don't have any idea what this place is called that you're in right now, do you? Oh, I, I'm like, I'm still getting used to names before I left because someone told me about them. And what what did you use instead of names? Um, uh, numbers. Numbers, but for people. Um. Uh. Yeah. Um. And what was? Did you have a number? One. Yeah. One zero six two five seven. Vias just like sits up straight and he's like, I fucking knew it. What? Uh, no, no, nothing. Um. Okay. Hold That's on. interesting. That's. Really interesting. And who, sorry, who gave you this number? Um, and did the number have, did the number have something to do with what you did? 
No. No. Because Alex had a number. Um, and it was similar to mine, but it wasn't close. But Alex also worked in magic with me. Okay. Where are they? What? You said that they work with magic. Do you know where they are? He's still in the city. Uh, he's still in the city. Uh, Alex, did you say? Yeah. So Alex had a name. Oh, well, yeah, because Alex gave himself a name, but Alex also had a number. He's the one who taught me about names. Did you give yourself the name Clancy? Yeah, uh, it's my name. I mean, I, nobody else is going to give you a name. Huh. Is that wrong? No, you're right. Susanna's just going to go for a little walk. She's just going to turn around and go for a little walk. She's just going to walk through the campsite for a little bit. I think Vi you hear Vias mumbling in the different language, most likely Marquisian. So... Should I not be telling you all of this? No, it's... It's just confusing. Is it? it is it? It is. It is confusing. Uh, to... Yeah. Uh. Can, can I make it not? And I, um, don't, don't worry too much about it. Um, I think you should rest. I, I think we all need some rest. And we were heading to the temple in the morning. Maybe you can come with us. Uh, if you, if you're okay but, with that. Not necessarily, but you really should But it's better than you own. going in on your own. Yes, it's, it's dangerous. We've, we've had to leave a, a friend there, and they weren't able to hey. come out with us. Okay, I left Alex. I know how that feels. Clancy, right? Uh, Cl Clancy, what's your name? Pardon me, I, I must have. Uh, Vias Deltery. Del Vias Deltery. Vias Deltery. Yes, that, that is yeah. my name. Uh, the whole thing? Vias Deltery. Uh, Vias was. Uh, but, but, then, but then what do you have the other one for? It makes it sound pretty. Yeah, that's, that's what some people did. They had, they like had like five, well, not five names, I guess. Five names that could be individual names, but they're all one name. I, that's what's that's cool about me. <laughs> that's what's, wait. Was that in character or out of character? I really need that to know. That was out of character. <laughs> okay. Out of He's not fucking here. Okay. Um, you know. Uh, but most, most people did, did short names. Mm. But Vias... That's a nice name. He gives, like, a wavering smile. Clancy. 
see if it's a good one. Ah, uh, I... You gave yourself. What? <laughs> Sometimes people here don't give themselves names. I... You, names are... Names Did are you important. just say names are important? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna flip a coin. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Hold on. Okay, Tolly stays in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this <gasps> Oh my god. She's gonna come back from her walk. Okay, at this point it's like quarter to one my time, so I'm gonna have to head off at some point soon. Yeah, I think we're gonna be at that. <laughs> and I would say that um right for we take a long rest. Um, is probably the best place to pause. Yeah. Uh, I assume someone is going to be keeping watch on Clancy when the sleep thing happens. Like, yeah. someone's going to be... I would say that we need a couple of people to trade off on we'll watches do a tonight. rotating watch. Uh, I really wish we hadn't <laughs> lost the person who has a lawn. Uh, Just... uh, Tali Talia's not coming out of that until they know Tal... Tolly's not coming out of that tree until they know Clancy's asleep. That's valid. So yeah, you that's fine. Find an alarm spell scroll. They'll know alarm. No, we're not going to find a fucking <laughs> alarm spell scroll. And the thing is, them knowing alarm doesn't actually help because the point of wanting alarm is to keep them in one <laughs> place. <laughs> so them knowing alarm does not help. We don't <laughs> trust the creepy stone of former experiment. Yeah, oh, I had no. a feeling after you said three thin lines on the face, I'm like, it's yeah, fucking not... experiment. That's why you it's not... know, that's why they don't know anything. It's not experiment, guys, it's worse. Uh, it's Josh. Like Josh. Or something. God damn it. I wish you the... fucking wouldn't. I really wish you just <laughs> wouldn't. Yeah, Stop no, I was it to us. I gotta stop saying things about my characters because I actually want the backstory to be a surprise. I, I bold and you to assume Clancy is sticking around long enough for us to get backstory out of them. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, I'm so glad I can another freaking We're thing going to be rescuing Dylan. That's what we're gonna be doing. I want to do that today, goddammit. All of you, Dylan's uh, gonna stay. Uh, no offense, but that motherfucker better stay. Clancy? <laughs> no, Dylan. Mm. Good. Uh -huh. Yeah, when we get Dylan, Dylan back, Dylan out. I'm not even joking. It's like I'm not kidding. Dylan's gonna get over himself, and we're gonna fucking stick together. Vias is no longer gonna let Dylan be in the back of the group. That's not uh, what yeah. he's gonna do anymore. Like, he will <laughs> literally force him to go in, in the middle at the very least. Uh, yeah, is Dylan is not allowed to go back to the group anymore, and he's getting a child leash that he can't break with magic. This is an oh. elaborate plan oh. by Susanna to not have competition for walking in the back anymore. <laughs> this is all her plan. Vias and Susanna will just link arms in the background and just make sure freaking Dylan can't get back there anymore. Yep. <laughs> also, I am I... enjoying that roleplay. <laughs> yes. Oh, jeez. Um... Yeah. Um... Yeah. All Josh. Right. Yeah. Josh. Yeah. Josh, please. Please. Get me back. Fucking please. Everything you're doing is to get your stupid warlock back. And by stupid because we love a stupid, stupid warlock. And most affectionate way. He's literally an idiot, but we love him so much. And uh, we're gonna you get really, him. You really shouldn't. Josh? 
If you're allowed to say you love Susanna, I'm allowed to fucking say I love Dylan, okay? <laughs> there, Susanna that, is objectively worse in every way. There's things that Vias uh, has that relate to him that there's reasons why he's very attached. Mm, mostly has oh. to do with the Raven Queen thing, but uh, there's it's a lot. Love. Just a fucking mess. Why the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, I've is still in the back of my brain and your guys are going to be in for a field day when he comes back. Hey, mm. Josh. I shut my mouth. Yeah. So, okay. I just just to just to bring this bring this to a home close so Amy can go. Mm. Um we are all settling down for a long rest. Yep. Who who's on watch first? I would say Lena's probably going to take um, a watch. Whether or not it's first watch is a different matter. S Susanna will take first watch, actually. Bias is definitely taking a long rest or a short rest. Are we doubling up on watches? Yeah, are we are we doing. Yeah, I think um, Diana's actually going to take watch with Susanna. Okay. Lena um, is going to. Second. Whenever Clancy falls asleep, Talia drops from the tree. Um, they. Um, I would say they fall asleep quickly. And I, I think Vice is going to attempt to find a tent that is not with anyone. <laughs> That he can rest in. Uh, Diana does have tents in her bag, so if you need one that's unoccupied, you can ask and she'll. Yeah, either that or like one of the unoccupied tents that are already out. Yeah. No, just... There are three empty tents there, um, each one probably capable of holding four or five people. Well, he wants like no part of being around people at this point. No. So, yeah, he. He'd either be camping outside or... <laughs> I'd like to state that Talia drops from the tree and announces in a very low voice to not wake up Clancy that for right now their name is on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because they don't... None of us fucking trust Clancy. Yeah. Shouldn't. Josh, he, he got a suspicious stop. motherfucker. Okay, so who's taking second watch with Lena? Would that be probably Talia? Talia will take it. And who's taking third watch? Yeah. I mean, uh, Vera's left. Vera and... I guess Vice is also watch. left. Also, Talia can take two watch shifts without... Yeah. Talia yeah. will take two if necessary. And if not necessary, okay. they will still be awake. Okay, I'll say Talia will take two watches that okay, okay, no worries. Cool. I'm going to go head off and sleep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. so, awesome. You. Bye. Good night. Sleep well. Good night. <laughs> night, folks. See ya. Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, I hate Hey, you. Josh. Yeah? Josh, you're Hi. seeing in all three jails for the foreseeable future. Oh, yeah. Yeah! I got my own personal jail. Please. <laughs> <laughs> what did you give him? What title? Jail of oh, Josh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what, uh, the what the fuck? What the fuck? In light of recent information, I might alter that slightly. Guys, what I the fucking fu cried. I I'm not okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. I... I was expecting to talk about Alex this soon. I not leaving Alex behind this soon. Fucking this. These folks are weird. Okay, first of all, Ren, I feel terrible because like Vias was so sad and distressed, and Susanna was like lying through her teeth the whole damn time. Like there wasn't an ounce of sincerity in what she was saying to him. She was just trying to like get him soothed. Well, it helped, and he appreciates it. She was fucking 
that she doesn't know how to help people. She doesn't know how to comfort people. She was faking it. She was just she bullshitting her way through that. Good job, Provias. Anyways, he he just wanted to talk about it. Honestly, like he just. I was very tempted to have him talk about the whole, like, I even freaking wrote it down and I decided not to say it because I got emotional. <laughs> um, <laughs> he wanted to ask her what she thought of him. Oh, man. Like, he wanted to say, am I untrustworthy? Like, is that the reason why I've been doing things wrong? Like... I keep messing Suzanne up. is so not the person to ask that question to. I know, but you were literally the only person he feels like at this point would give him I don't know. An honest answer? No, not an honest one. <laughs> at the very least, like I don't know. An understanding of some sort, I guess. That's Talia, yeah. Talia and Bias need to have a talk. He thinks he fucked up so bad. Like, he he doesn't believe that. Uh, he... What? Why they think they fucked up so bad? That's the it. kids ain't all right. Well, the thing is, he's like, if I know I did something bad, but Talia won't talk to me, so I can't apologize. <laughs> and it's like. He doesn't know what to do because he was told not to go approach Dahlia. And now this shit happened and he's like, I just, I just can't win. What am I supposed to do? Talia was totally down to be like, hey, Vice, let's talk after the first temple run. But then the shit with Dylan went down and they were like, well, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> if they do talk, he's going to be like, if you stun me again, I swear to God. <laughs> Oh, he was not happy about that. He does not like to be. Oh, handled. I'm sure, but Talia will will not apologize. Oh, I understand, but that's gonna make him pissed. <laughs> no, the Talia, all right. be like, it's fine this one time. You get this one freebie, but if you fucking do it again, <laughs> Talia will not apologize for, in their mind, saving the life of one of their best friends. Yeah, <laughs> understandable. Vice is just too, like, upset at this point. He feels like he's done Yeah, there really needs to be some conversations had before we go back in, because otherwise we'll completely fucking fall apart, and we already have we someone can't... who we can't fucking trust. Be what, were those, what were those distressed noises there, PK? There were me being sad. <laughs> Guys, um... I'm sad. Yeah, I was sad too. I'm Vi really was literally sad. I gonna apologize to Lena when she was handing out tea, and I rolled a dice to see what he would do, and I was like, a one to ten, he will apologize. An eleven to nineteen, he won't or he won't apologize. And a twenty, dot dot dot. <laughs> and I'm like, and I rolled a fucking like. 19 and I was like oh well I guess he's not apologizing <laughs> god damn it he's just he's a mess I look I'm like as PK emotionally dying Suzanne is just like trying to play clean up here she's trying to fix the situation that she has caused for herself Yeah, I think I think unknowingly Susanna has like become an attachment. Like Vias is now attached to her. <laughs> Oops. That's really awkward. See yep. Susanna's whole goal right now with why she was insistent on being the one to go talk, to go do shit, that was to show people that she's competent and she's not a fuck up and she can actually do shit and she's not just dead weight. She's yeah. gonna listen. Diana's okay. only concern with Susanna going was that she was concerned that if Dylan was there, Susanna would shoot him. Why that was her Susanna only concern. She frankly didn't care otherwise. And see, cause... Susanna was worried that when Vias was not wanting her to go 
alone to talk to Gillen, she thought that he was thinking she was going to betray the party, which is not something she's interested in doing. So she's just she's just doing her fucking best, and she's awful, so it's not very good. But like, Vaya but at least she's like, trying. I really don't want her to be alone right now. Like that was his really only thought, especially like with everything that's happened. Because he knows she can handle herself. Like, he doesn't doubt that. It's just the fact that, like, she's a part of the party. She did something nice for me, at least once. I need to make sure she's okay. Bias has low standards. He needs to get better standards. He needs better friends than Susanna. Come on. If the people that you think are your friends leave you a few times and just, like, decide not to associate just because they decided to use you (laughs) like bias has been used he just kind of decides you know if you're nice to me for a little while it's okay man Suzanne is just so uncomfortable like and she's gonna become slightly more uncomfortable she's so fucking uncomfortable like what is it even happening like and she thinks that 